Uncas and his friends lose track of Cora and Alice, who are being carried through the forest as Magua's prisoners. But the three friends find one of Cora's shoes and manage to free the girls. Professor Marchbanks befriends a bear. Ah, now I see what Oscar has been looking for. A nice, refreshing dip. Oh. I say, it's most extraordinarily hot for autumn. What? We call it Indian summer. It's a period of sudden heat when we store up provisions before winter comes. I shall bathe as well. I don't want to present myself like this in polite society. If you get there, that is. What's your objection now? Magua and his Hurons will be absolutely overjoyed to find your scalp nice and clean for them. Oh, I'm quite aware we're in danger, Mr. Hawkeye. You've repeated it ad nauseum, so I shall have a pleasant bathe in the hopes of forgetting the forest, the Hurons, and you. Hmm? Well, according to the old saying, a horse refreshed, how does it go? Will? Ah, oh, yes. Will gallop all the swifter. And I should dearly love to examine some of the Lepidoptera I saw in that grove. Do whatever you like. Excellent. Don't worry at all. We'll keep a sharp lookout. <laughs> <laughs> I presume you mean with our eyes toward the forest, don't you, Mr. Hawkeye? Hmm. Of course, that's what I meant. Of course. Uh, here, let me give you a hand with your stays. Ah. When one lives in such a savage ah. world, what do you expect him to be but an animal, right? I know you don't agree, Cora, but even that bear is better behaved than certain people. We've <laughs> got everything we need. We have the forest, the hunt, our freedom. It may be a savage land, but we're our own masters here. Ah, yes, this is the life for me. No worries, no ties of any kind. I say, this is quite refreshing, don't you think? <laughs> you what could possibly be better, huh? All right, I see you're not in much of a talkative mood. Oh. <laughs> That's enough, Oscar. Stop it right now! <laughs> Oh, he only wants to play. There, in the water, it's disgusting. A beaver. Or at least what is left of one. Big explosion. At least a pound of powder. No more than two days ago. They blew up the dam to get at the beavers, then finished them off with clubs so as not to ruin the pelts. They skinned them and threw the bodies back into the stream as though they were garbage. Oh, I should expect this in a land that is home to barbarians. Yes, it's the work of barbarians but not <gasps> Indians. These are white hunters who come from coastal cities, just like you. <laughs> mm. Mm. <gasps> huh? 
Another gift from those swine. All of you, be careful where you walk. You're a clever fellow indeed, Oscar. Oh, the poor thing. He must be suffering dreadfully. No one me say. I'm a... to say. The forest is full of dangers. Too many if his hoof doesn't heal quickly. Those hunters are very near. <gasps> Flushing out the snake is better than treading on it by accident. Yes, let's go say hello to these gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, Tom! Don't let him get away! Good shot. And another fine set of antlers for us. <laughs> Get them, Lester. <laughs> Where did Jackson wander off to? <clears throat> Take it easy. We just want to talk to you and your friends. But <laughs> There's Jackson now. And I see he's got company. Nice job. Congratulations. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> so you're the ones carrying out these ignoble massacres. The frontier isn't the place for anyone with a delicate stomach. No, oh, hold on. <sighs> this isn't about stomachs. It's about the conscience you don't seem to have, mister. There's no law that says a man can't hunt. That's good enough for us. <laughs> what are you looking at, sir? <laughs> oh. Well, there's no law that says a man can't look at a pretty girl, is there? <laughs> <laughs> My pal here would like to play with you. <laughs> Well, I see the circus has come to town, all complete. Wild animals, savages, pretty ladies, and of course, a clown. <gasps> well, slime like you doesn't make anyone laugh, you can believe it. It just makes a man want to reach real quick for his right. Hey, if you're looking for trouble, you've come to the right Take place. Take it easy. We got what we came here for. We don't need to waste any more time on these idiots. I'd thank your boss if I were you. He just saved your life. Oh, they're just... Human refuse missiles of the worst species. They're just four jackals. Now that they know who we are, they'll steer clear of us. He's still alive. I can hear his heartbeat. Those pigs, they <gasps> left him here to die in oh. agony. Farewell, noble friend. Rest in peace. I thank you for your gift, friend Stag. May your flesh invigorate our bodies and bring wisdom to our spirits this day. But you... you can't possibly mean to... The damage has been done, Miss Alice. Leaving him here for the buzzards would just be a waste. Oh, stop it! 
It's true. Would you care? Him? No. Oh. Uh, perhaps the meat's too tough for a gentle lady. Uh, oh, no. But not for a gentleman. Someone has to get some vittles down that girl's throat. Someone? Here, you need to eat. I'm not in the least bit hungry. Just take a few bites, all right? Come on, it'll help calm you down a little bit. I know what you're trying to say. I'm just a hysterical female. I don't mean anything of the kind. I'm simply trying to rebel against all this brutality. I don't want to turn into a ferocious beast like Magua, or those poachers, or you. I've had enough of your tantrums, Alice. You can go to the devil. to the campfire, Alice, dear. I can't accept this world the way you do. Listen, it won't last much longer. Soon we'll be in Fort Harry with Papa and Duncan, and you'll go back to the life you prefer. You're right. It'll soon be over. And he won't be tormenting me anymore. He's not tormenting you, silly. He's just lacking in some of the finer points of chivalry, that's all. He doesn't click his heels like... Like Duncan, you were about to say. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Harry! Harry! Help her! Do something! <laughs> Harry, kill it before it kills me! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he's not gonna hurt you. He just wants to be friends. Take out your hand toward him. Trust me, Alice. like a dog. <laughs> a most remarkable encounter, most remarkable. No, he is simply a domesticated wolf, not unheard of. What are you doing so far from home, friend? He even has a medallion. As you can see, we're not all bloodthirsty beasts around here. Which one did you like, Jackson? The blonde or the other one? Oh, the blonde. That white skin just like the butter. Oh, a real lady. I ain't got no preference. I'll take either one. Or even better, both of them. <laughs> How about you, Jackson? You're not too old to appreciate a pretty young lady. Are oh, ya? Yeah. Those aren't dance hall floozies, Lester. They're of the English upper crust, and I don't want any trouble. Huh? Well, what about that bear? That's a whole other matter. A pelt as fine as that one would be worth its weight in gold back in Portland. Are we gonna go after it then? I haven't decided yet. Get the engine brat in here. Get in there, you little swine. Everything needs to be cleaned up. Move. I'm still hungry. Bring me some grub. And I'm not leaving this forest until I get even with your wolf from my hand. You understand? Of course I do. You're telling me you're never going to leave the forest. Why, Forget it, little... I'll... I'll... The Hurons will pay well for a little Delaware huh? slave, but only if he gets to them in one piece. Hey, we was talking about that bear. Well, we got plenty of beaver. That's what I say. Let's get on home. Then again, a bear pelt is worth a hundred beavers, but it's probably too scary for you, huh? I'll get your pelt, you Hold filthy on, little... Lester. Uh, huh? Brad's right. We shouldn't let a fortune like that walk away from us.
Did you really think you could pull the wool over my eyes, you filthy little rat? Yeah, but you don't give me a good excuse to kill you. No one could blame me for doing you in while you was trying to escape. Yeah, you little... Say your prayers, Injun brat. <laughs> That vermin has breathed its last. No! Yaku! We're friends, little warrior. Now, where did that man go? Oh! We meet oh. again. Uh, well, I think those two know how to take care of themselves just fine. <sighs> what about that bad man? He got what he deserved. But there are the other three, and they're hunting the bear. Oscar? <laughs> Go, Yaku. Help them out. Tarnation, but that animal can move. But he's gonna run right into the boss. <laughs> Just a couple of more yards, chum. <laughs> I wing him. Keep on his trail. <laughs> <laughs> he ran right into the cave. We Get. got him. That'll do just fine. Light it up, quick. Get your rifles ready, he's coming out! Go! Go! Holy! Girl lady, are you carrying that hole by yourself? Of course. As soon as Yaku gets back, we'll be off again to look for my sister. You know you could always come with us. Shh. Huh? No. I think you'll be coming along with me. Hurry! The forest's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Yaku! Yaku here! Good boy, Yaku! Good boy! 
We thank you, Great Spirit, with all our hearts. This day you have been merciful. My bones froze solid during the night. You'll live. Well, just look at that. Indian summer is over. We'll have to get moving. But we can't. Have you forgotten, dear sir, that Oscar is in no shape to travel? Now, oh, by the way, where is he? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Oh. Hey, my provisions! I withdraw my diagnosis. The patient seems well on his way to recovery. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to travel with you for a while anyway. And after all, an expedition can always use two more warriors.